The girl tied her mother's body in a sack. Then she rode to the center of the lake and skillfully cut the rope with a knife. The mother slowly sank to the bottom of the lake. But here, countless other sacks have piled up. They are quietly waiting for the fish to feed on them. This is the true story of a remote suburb in Texas. USA, the TV is rolling with cases of missing persons in the neighborhood. There are now nearly 1,000 missing persons. The police are reminding people to be careful when traveling. Mary is at the drugstore buying sleeping pills for her mother. The clerk reminded her to be careful about the amount of sleeping pills she used. She explained that her mother suffered from severe insomnia. Then she glanced at the TV and was very calm. When she got home, she carefully prepared a breakfast for her guest. After drinking a cup of coffee, the guest fell asleep on the floor. She and her mother immediately wrapped him up. Her mother's lover took the chance to scavenge the guest's luggage. At night, the three of them push a cart and transport the guest to Coyote Lake. Then they rode their boat to the center of the lake. After a few struggles, the client sank to the bottom of the lake. After the job was done, the mother made the usual scratches on the wall. Over the years, the wall was covered with her scratches. Mary said she didn't want to hurt people anymore, but her mother said they could leave at the end of the year. One day, they got another big business. The man seemed to be very rich. Mother and daughter did what they always did. They knocked the man out and planned to push him into lake at night. The man arrives at a cabin in a remote suburb and is greeted by a mother and daughter, but he doesn't expect to be dumped at the bottom of the lake. At night, the mother and daughter are about to go out to dump the body but suddenly there is a gangster armed with a gun. His name is Luke. He's a drug dealer. Due to a firefight with the police, Luke's friend is now seriously injured. Under his threat, Mary had to give him a room, but the guest in the room is about to wake up. Mary sneaked into the room to drug the guest when Luke wasn't looking, but she was accidentally pressed down on the bed by the waking guest. He tightly choked Mary's neck. Luke saw this and thought the man was going to rape her. He punched the guest and knocked him out. Then Mary started to play the role of the victim. Luke thought he'd become a hero and he felt happy about it. He decided to continue helping her and dug a hole to bury the guest alive. Mary met a man who killed for her for the first time. She was very touched and fell in love with him. She wanted to thank him and make love to him. Luke agreed. Then they had sex once in a warehouse. Mary was tired of the boring life of killing and wanted to run away with Luke. But the relationship was soon discovered by her mother. Just as they were about to go back to their room to pack, Luke opened the door and was shot by Mary's mother. The love of her life died so suddenly in front of her eyes. Mary was extremely sad. She cried continuously. Mary's mother held Mary in her arms and kept forcefully brainwashing her. She said that these people were criminals. That they were bad people. It's God's will. They're doing a good thing. Under her mother's brainwashing, Mary calmed down. She soon cooperated with her mother to dump Luke and his friend in the lake. But at that moment, a horrible thought flashed through Mary's mind. The girl wrapped up her mother. After she had drugged her mother, she skillfully put her into a sack. Then she took the bag to the lake in a car. She rode to the center of the lake and cut the rope. As she watched her mother's body sink to the bottom of the lake, the girl felt no emotion at all. What had her mother done to deserve to be killed by her own daughter? Mother and daughter run a forest hotel, but they only serve one guest at a time. To avoid suspicion from mothers, they often use the excuse of being full of guests. Even in emergencies, they kept to that rule. One day, the mother's lover came to make love to her again. Satisfied, the mother gave her lover a watch she'd taken from her victim. But when the lover was organizing his stash, a man saw it and envied it. He picked up the watch and admired it. But when he took a closer look, his face immediately became grave. He asked the man where the watch came from, and he recognized that it belonged to his brother. His brother is still missing. He took a stick and hit the man hard on the head. Then he went to Mary's mother and questioned her. When she didn't answer, the man pushed her against the wall and grabbed her by the neck. In a panic, the mother found a set of keys and stabbed them into the man's thigh. The man screamed in pain. At that moment, a tenant heard the noise and rushed over, but he couldn't beat the man and was held down and beaten. While they were beating each other, the mother pulled a crucifix from the wall and stabbed the man. She stabbed him again and again, and he died. She managed to survive, but she didn't expect to die at the hands of the daughter she raised because Mary's beloved boyfriend was shot by her mother. In order to avenge her boyfriend Luke's death, she drawed mother and knocked her out according to the killing skills her mother taught. She went to her mother's room and opened the safe. With the money, she could live the rest of her life without worrying. Then she took a boat to the lake and pushed her mother into the lake. From then on, her mother disappeared into the calm waters of the lake forever. This is the end of today's movie. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, you can subscribe to my channel.